now that we've covered the rationale behind both individual movements, let's go back to an example we've kind of raised earlier. Now, we've already explained that improvements in technology, say like the advent of the internet or, you know, the computer chip, can increase the productive capacity of a country. But now that we think about it, the increases in worker productivity that automated process ge processes generate also mean that the cost of producing a single unit of goods and services falls. So instead of one factory worker being able to produce 10 boxes an hour with eight of machines, he can now process 100. And the cost of churning out each box falls. So how do we shift the AS? In this case, the AS moves both rightwards and downwards. The entire curve shifts outwards. And the point here to make is that while, whilst the reasons behind the two AS movements may be different, they are not mutually exclusive. The same factor can cause both movements. Hence, rather than trying to categorize every factor under the sun into things that shift the AS leftwards or rightwards and things that shift the AS upwards or downwards, we simply should need to shift the curve accordingly. Ask yourself how the factors affect the cost of production and productive capacity and thus shift the curve in that manner.